interesting going on so anyone who's added my videos to uh, get a little update whenever I put something new and you haven't seen anything that's why but uh, I had found a little bit of time to mess around with uh, a few electronic parts and microcontroller once again and uh, this isn't actually a robot but this is something I can either hopefully use in an existing one or in a future project so basically what we've got here is this guy is a little set of LEDs it's a bar graph LED comes with uh, 10 LEDs in there so I can light them up individually at a time all at once whatever so I've got that guy wired up a couple little logic chips here um, one guy here this is a little what's called a shift register it's gonna I'm gonna load in some information to it and then it's gonna pass that information to this chip which decodes it and determines which LED to get lit up. So basically, uh, I can go from 1 and 10 and tell it which LED I want to light up. I can only do one at a time, but I'm going to show you some tricks I did to uh, make it look like more than one at a time is going, which is uh, kind of cool. Deceive the eye a little bit and uh, play tricks with the mind, but it works for visual effects. So basically, here we go. That's the microcontroller right there. Uh, this is the baby orangutan from pololu.com. So if anyone wants to check it out, I think it was like $25 to $30, depending on which uh, variation you get. I got the top one with about 16K of RAM, so not a lot, but it does the job. And uh, using a couple of the output pins from the chip, from the uh, microcontroller, to drive all of this. So that's good. Only two pins, and the rest can be used for other stuff. So that's, that's a plus. And... Uh, right here uh, for those of you that may or may not know you can uh, snag some power off of your USB line uh, USB gives off 5 volts so if you need to uh, get some power like 5 volts which is perfect for logic because that's what all this uses is 5 volts so does the job um, the two outside pins on the USB it's got four pins if you look at a regular cable like that one it's got four let's see if we can zoom in there you go so you got four pins, and uh, the left and far right one are power. So we got ground and positive on the right. But uh, take a voltmeter, check what it is first, and then wire them up accordingly so you know. And you don't want to be frying stuff. Not good. And from there, you can just plug it into your PC USB cable, and there you go. You got five volts. So cheap little way. I don't have to use batteries or anything right now. And then final product, I can throw a battery in there to power all this, which is good. But for testing, this is nice. Uh, so anyways, let me go ahead and uh, plug this in and uh, we'll fire it up and you can watch watch what this bad boy can do. And here we go. So as you can see, like I said, I can you can looks like more than one is lighting up at a time, but what's really happening is I'm lighting them one at a time so quickly in between that they don't go out fast enough and you, the eye doesn't see any of the flicker really so it's it's just doing it really quick to light more than one at a, to make it look like more than one at a time but it's just uh, microseconds just like 10 microseconds apart maybe less so, you can see bouncing routines I basically I just programmed in a few routines just to demo show what I can do so far with it um, so like with Simba, I could use it as maybe a level. So as it's scanning, I could actually have it visually show how far things are. So, which you know helps helps to up uh, to someone like me if I'm watching it and I want to know what's going on. If I can have some visual uh, like this, this could be like a, some little indicator, left or right. I can have it actually go maybe more to left or right, depending on which side it wants to go to, and it'll let me know. Uh, something like this, you could probably do maybe eyeballs for a robot, and it can look left and right. Who knows? Could even get like a second bar graph going and maybe have it go up and down as well by uh, putting the two together in a way. So, but that's it in a nutshell. I mean, I can I say it's simple, but of course other people have looked at it and said, "Yeah, right." But you know, once you get a grasp of this stuff and you you know digital electronics and you get get an idea, it's, it's not too bad. And so, just using a couple of chips resistor array right there so that's nothing fancy just a bunch of resistors inside a little package and bar graph LED mm.
fancy little indicator. And uh, for those that know how to program or are familiar with coding, uh, this was all done in C, uh, which is nice. I, I, that's the language I prefer. There's a lot of power with it, at least as far as what I, I know how to do stuff with. So this was really simple. Um, if you look over here on the screen, not sure if we can get this in or not. No, it doesn't look like we can, so i going to show the code, but not coming in too well. Oh, there we go. So, that's the meat of the code, really. That's what sets which LED gets lit. So I just take a number, binary number, and feed in each bit of that 4-bit binary number into the uh, sh that shift register I said. That stores that number, and then the it outputs to the... Uh, that other chip which lights up the LEDs and then if I do that fast enough I can make it look like more than one's going at a time but I feed a number into this little function here and it will do the work to feed that information to the chip and light the LED and probably wasn't too exciting but something in the works nonetheless adios So much moisture coming out of them. Maybe that's the problem. I don't get that though. For everybody else. They put it in the back corner there. What did you say about everybody else? No, all the other people that did it on the internet, it works. And they were fresh. They well, you think. You didn't see if they left them out or. They don't. They maybe not.